Hi everyone, this is Wendy. Welcome back. I've come on to show you what I've been doing lately. I have been making some of these uh, pocket envelopes out of this roll of paper. <laughs> I, I don't think I read the roll what it was actually um, when I picked it up. So I was down in Kmart the other day and I, they've got so many wonderful new craft um, items in store and I'm just really loving their new layout too. Anyway, I seen this roll of paper up there and it had a sign and all I seen on it was um, brown paper for crafts or craft brown paper and I thought, oh, it was only like... I think five or six dollars for the roll of it and there's quite a bit on the roll and I thought oh that'd be really good um, just to have a bit of brown paper as pages in my journals and then when I got home <laughs> um, and opened it up and I threw the packaging away so I can't even check to see but I suppose if I went online I could check to see what it was actually called it's got a really lovely flat brown paper here but on the inside it's got like a thin plastic and I thought well no I'm not going to use that for pages um, even though like you could stick a picture on this side but it just wasn't what I wanted and I thought well what can I do with it so I started playing around and I come up with these. Now I actually um, seen these in Kmart as well. They had like a pack of, I don't know how many they had in the pack, maybe five of all different sized ones. Um, so I've made three different sizes and what I'd done, I cut myself out I drew up and cut out a template for for each of the sizes just out of um, some hard heavy um, craft paper so I thought I'd come on and show you how to make your template how I done it and then you'd be ready to go because then you can keep your template and use it over and over again to make some of these pocket pocket envelopes. I'm not sure if they've got a specific name. I really don't know, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. Okay, so I'll just put that over there. I have got a piece of white paper and I'll just put that there so I don't lose focus. And I do need a pencil and sharpen my pencil bit sharper than what's on there. That'll do. So what I done, I just roughly worked out what size I thought would be a good size. So this one here is 10 centimeters, which is four inches. And then this one here is oh, just about three inches, which is eight centimeters and I had a fat one didn't I somewhere here there's one and then this one here is 11 centimeters which is four and a half inches and that four and a half that's still a really nice size just to put on um, in your journals you know most of your journals are, are no smaller than five inches so that was pretty good too so what i had done I'll do this one here um, four inches so all I did was went to the side of my paper um, and I measured because you need a little flap on them so on this side here I marked off half an inch and then I what I'll do first is draw a line across the top so that can be for our flap I'm getting ahead of myself okay so mark off half an inch 
it's hard to see that ruler now and then I went across four inches and then just marked another half an inch there okay so um, we can cut that down to size and I'm going to cut at this mark just here right there put that over there <coughs> and this part here is going to be your flap so you're going to be folding that down just like that that part up there is going to be this flat part here and then what I done was I just roughly worked out how uh, long I want it and I'm not sure how long that is but I'll do another one here anyway so fold it up to there okay so I folded it up about three and a quarter inches and then I just folded this piece of paper down and I left about a quarter of an inch from this um, folded part here just like that and then I grabbed my scissors I grabbed my scissors come on Wendy are they up here? Hmm, scissors have disappeared, guys. Oh, come on. This is oh, there they are, right in front of me. I couldn't see for looking. Right, so I grabbed my scissors and then I cut along that there. I don't think I cut that very straight. No, oh, that'll do. Straight enough. Okay, and then opened it back out and then down at the bottom here I just marked off another half an inch here. Hang on, that's not half an inch, that's half an inch there. So this is going to be a bit wider. I knew I couldn't see that properly because the light's shining right down so that's half an inch there on that one that side's half an inch and this side here mark half an inch and then I just drew a line down the side there on the half inch mark and a line down this side for the other half an inch mark and then just grabbed my scissors again and cut up on this one here and then cut to an angle there just a little angle then I angled that one there and I did angle the top ones down a bit but you don't really have to so I'll show you how I got that um, the curved part and then cut there and a little bit of a, a mitre cut there and one there and then cut straight up there so that look that is just so easy to make a template now I've got rounded corners here so all I done for that was just folded that in half and joined up these two points up there and then I went and just angled that cut a bit and just went round the corner up the top then you can just fold this over there and fold this one over there because they're your little flaps that are going to glue the bottom part up okay so you put a bit of glue here a bit of glue there 
and you fold that up like that and that gets folded over like that so how cool that is just so easy and um, after I had done it on just a piece of photocopy paper that's when I got out these and um, I made up a couple of different sizes um, so that was the first size. This one here is just a little bit longer. So you could just have a whole range of different size ones by making up your own template. Okay. So that's what I'll do. Oh, and for, um, I'll just show you this. For the, um, the closure on it, I just grabbed my... Oh, this one here my little um, half half inch half inch circle punch and I punched out a couple of circles and I haven't got any of that paper up here near me either um, so I've got a couple here um, these ones have already been punched out I punched the circles out of this thicker cardstock because this this paper with the the like a plastic backing it, it's pretty thin but it makes really good um, envelopes or pocket envelopes so all I done then um, just for the closures I just line it up in the center and I used my all and just punched a hole through the center and right through to there and then I used brads. Um, the first lot I'd done I used some eyelets so i done the same thing using the eyelets or the brads um, but with the with the eyelets I had to use my um, big shot my big crocodile thing but then I thought oh look I can just do it by hand with some eyelets so uh, with some eyelets with some brads so with this one here just grab a brad, put through the hole there, put through the hole there and open that up there. So there's that one up there and then you just grab another circle, half circle and place it where you want to put it and poke another hole and put your bread through and that was that's just so easy guys like you don't need to um, I may as well put a bit of glue on here too and just close that one up and leave it for a sample so I know what it's like have to get a new glue stick. I've gone through two glue sticks this afternoon. So then you just put a bit of glue on that tab there or on that flap there and that flap there and you close it up just like that and for the bit of twine I actually haven't attached that so I just grabbed my, this is hemp cord and just cut a little bit of that and what I'd done was just ran that around the top one once so if you pull on it it's not going to come undone and then you can just close it up like that um, however you want to close it but I'll just do it around the bottom a couple of times and that's how easy it is guys and I added a little bit of stamping 
on each of the pockets. Oh, but that's what I was going to tell you. Um, I'll just do another one using this paper and I don't have any cuts so I'll just just quickly cut a bit of that off and grab one of the templates that I've already done okay so just let me cut this and I'll show you from using my template here so like it's not perfect but you know it's handmade isn't it doesn't have to be perfect so with my template from after making just like a little pattern from the photocopy paper then I traced around onto my craft cardboard oops don't wobble it Wendy and I made a template just like that so that's that one then cut around this but I just want to show you um, when you put this one together if you do go out and buy some of this craft paper with like the plastic kind of back that you're not actually gluing onto that the plastic so I'll just show you this is very rough and on mine I also inked around the edges it's just I like inking I like to distress around the edges so I'm nearly there cutting this out anyway isn't that the way as soon as I come into my craft room someone in the units behind us or right out my window starts playing music <sighs> okay that wasn't cut straight but that's okay rougher the better <laughs> no not really so I'm just going to do this one right from start to finish for you so I've got some vintage photo and just go all the way around this edge here I'll have to rub the pencil mark off that I left on there okay and what I'm going to do is fold the sides in first so I just line it up there and line the top up and just press and when you press that over that's where you're going to put the glue so the the um, plasticky side which I'm calling the plasticky side is um, on the inside of that flap so you don't actually you're gluing on the the craft paper side the rough side okay so just put a bit more ink down there and then I just fold that up this way up here like that and with this one I have been using a wet glue so I'll just put some glue there and some glue there and then put the pin back in the glue so I don't forget All right and then just fold that up and press down there and press down there and then I just fold the top down like oh yeah like that so what I have forgotten to do is put the dots on but that's okay so what I'm going to do now is put the dots on so I've got just grabbed my circle my half inch circle 
and just roughly centered that up there and punch a hole through the center grab one of my braids and place that in the hole so we'll open that up there right now I've glued that up already but I'm, I think I can still just punch a hole through that without um, without having to pull it apart again so just lift that up there find the center owl and stick it in your blooming finger <laughs> it's alright oh dear and then put my bread through there and hopefully I can open that up without but I would do this part before you actually glue it together just so that you don't make it hard on yourself like I am right now okay but yeah there it is see too easy and grab a bit of cord I really did stick that through I'm bleeding it'll stop in a minute okay grab a bit of twine and just run that around the top one just loop it around once and then we can just loop that around the bottom there okay so put a bit, bit more ink on that and then I was just grabbing my stamps I like this one here this is the it's a Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous um, number one so what I do with this one I just put that on there and put a bit of ink on it and just run the ink through the numbers whoops and I may have moved it okay so that just goes on there like faintly not all the numbers are on there dark this one here is like on faint okay and then just grab another stamp or whatever you want to use. I've used butterflies, um, I used an old hat and I do like this one here the um, whatever they're called and just do a bit of stamping on here just to jazz it up a little bit so easy Gosh, my finger's hurting. Um, I'll have to go and put some disinfectant on it, I think. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's how easy it is. Just to make your own little template to make some of these awesome little um, pocket envelopes. Okay? With your brads. But yeah, I have made quite a few, haven't I? I was on a roll. This one here I've just put the love on and the numbers. This one here, happiness and the numbers. This one here um, I stamped in black and then I thought no, nah, I should have just kept it all one colour because I do like them just all like in the one colour and that was the one that I just done then. Okay so that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed. So just be mindful that this paper from Kmart does have like a plasticky back on it. Okay, but you can all, I'll find something else to use it with too. I'm not sure what, but I will. Okay, that's all guys. Thanks for watching. You all have a great day and I'll catch you later. Stay healthy, stay safe. Bye bye.